maybe we'll find some disagreement here considering <laughs> the way that you've talked about the Philadelphia Eagles over the last few weeks because I am buying the Eagles plus two and a half at the Broncos. Minus 105 is the uh, line on this at BetMGM. So you're going to pay a little bit less juice if you get in on the Eagles at plus two and a half. Last night when I was first looking at this line, KC, the Eagles were plus three, minus 120. So they were juiced up a little bit at plus three, and now we get it down at plus two and a half. I'm not even going to try to make a significant X's and O's case for this one, KC, because that's really not the foundation of why I'm picking it. Why is this two and a half? Why is this line only two and a half points? The Broncos are five and four, have some decent wins to their name, including a dominant victory at the Cowboys last week. Meanwhile, the Eagles have been down for most of the season. Their most recent win, that 44 to six line win against the Lions, like who cares about that win? Now they go into Denver. Denver's coming back home after that win at Dallas that they dominated from wire to wire. They're only two and a half point favorites. And then, like I said, that line was at three on Thursday night, and the Broncos were plus 100 at minus three. Why are books so comfortable giving out even money on the Broncos minus three at home against a three and six Eagles team after they just waxed the Cowboys in Dallas? I think it's because they're courting bets on the Broncos. I think they want people to be putting money on the Broncos. That is a supposition on my part. I'm trying to get in the heads of the odds makers. I admit that readily, but if I'm right, I want to side myself with the odds makers. And that mostly, that is like 90% of the reason why I'm going with the Eagles here. I cover the Eagles for a write about them for the Philadelphia Inquirer and uh, their offense. They figured out what they want to be. At least I think they figured out what they want to be an offense. They're finally saying, Hey, we got a rushing quarterback in Jalen Hurts. We can run block well. We've got a great running back uh, group. So we know we can power on the ball. And they've been doing something back. They're one of only six teams this year to rush for 175 yards in back to back games. So, and, and their streak is still going if they do, you know, fours the, the record for the season. So they have a chance to, to do that. Having said that, Jonathan Gannon's defense doesn't have any idea what it wants to be. And over the past four weeks, they allowed an 88.7% completion rate on short passes. <laughs> 88 points. It's, it's like nine yards per attempt. Like it was 9 it's, just, it's just awful. They're, they're sitting back in that cover two shell, letting you throw underneath and daring you to do it. And teams are like, okay, if we can complete nearly 97 <laughs> passes, we'll do it. And he's not blitzing and he's not fixed things. On offense, you can see him fixing problems. A defense, it's just not happening, and I and it's and it's just and, it, and it's because it's happening. If it was a one game thing, I'd, I'd say okay, well, maybe it's just one game. It's a four game thing, and he stubbornly keeps sticking to his approach. He won't go back to the one gapping stuff that Jim Schwartz didn't say. Let's really get out the field. At least he won't do it consistently. That scares me about any Eagles pick. I just in, until that defense gets picked. It gets fixed, I should say. I just can't really get behind them because I just don't trust Jonathan Gannon's play call. You know, it also plays to the strengths of Teddy Bridgewater if they end up coming out with that sort of look this week as well. And we know that now it's Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton and Tim Patrick. That could have me in trouble. What you point out about the Eagles offense, though, is a point well taken. Uh, this was a team that was super pass heavy the first six weeks of the season. They ranked sixth in the NFL through week six in neutral game situation, early down pass rate. That comes to us from uh, Ben Baldwin's invaluable pass run frequency database definitely uh search for that uh it's a great great tool for us here over the last three weeks they're 24th in that same measure so they have definitely changed their mentality on offense and i think it's working for them offensively do have some concerns about what you point about with the defense but i'm still gonna ride with it because the broncos should be favored by more i want to side myself <laughs> with the odds makers we're courting bets on the broncos let's go ahead and ride with the eagles plus two and a half over at bet mgm 